Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to FM23, Newton Heath, episode number eight. We continue on into November now, so that there's been a few matches played, so I'll update you on that shortly. But in the meantime, the finances continue to look good. It's another month with a positive balance adding to that bank account there just a bit. We are approaching one million in the bank. So uh, as we get closer to that, I think we're maybe a couple months away from starting to press the board for changes. The first one we'd go after is the training facilities, just as that's promised to a lot of players. But otherwise, uh, kind of take what we can get initially, as we essentially need everything to be improved. And we'll have a lot better finances, you know, a year. Board's still expecting defeats. However, not everything we've been doing was a defeat. Hereford. One of the better teams in the league gets a penalty, takes a 2-0 lead. We get one back but cannot equalize. We do go down in that match, in that match. But Blythe Spartans, who actually have been one of the bottom teams in the league for a number of seasons, and then all of a sudden have kind of climbed their way up a little bit the last year or two, and they find themselves in a promotion playoff kind of spot with help from a penalty uh, and three goals from Mitchell George, we come away with all three points. Uh, so we came from behind and then got the lead for the first time. They came from behind, but you know, we, we got it back. So uh, fantastic to see that performance and another three points for the side. And then Brackley at home, Again, penalties. We have given away so, so many penalties. Those individual mistakes still are quite high in our side. Uh, but Patty Lacey leveling the score. So the, the new defensive mid grabbing one and coming away with a point. So in three matches, we get four points. That is absolutely progress for our side. We head into November. Now that was two home games there. So, you know, you got to take that into account. But over those three matches, goal differential was even. It was a zero. Uh, but we've got three out of the next four on the road before we then begin the FA Trophy, before finally getting one more home match before the end of the month. So only two home matches in the month of November. Looking like it could be a tough one. But looking at the sides that we go up against, I'm hopeful that we can get some results. I mean, you've got some bottom end sides uh, that we are going to be facing, just difficult on the road. But if we can get a few results through November, we could find ourselves out of the relegation zone, uh, probably only in a just barely type circumstance. But either way, you know, the, the team seems to be stabilizing at this point. Brief look at our defensive stats on the season so far. Uh, conceding is near the bottom of the league at just over two goals per match. But the expected goals against is at 1.85. I mean, it's it's not as bad as what we're getting, but from the looks of that, that's actually worse compared to the other teams in the league than what our actual concede rate is. Therefore, it is relatively high. Uh, tackles attempted is up there actually it's on it's on the better side uh, but tackles one ratio interceptions is pretty good blocks per game is decent clearances is decent we make some individual plays but we also just give up more concede more and i have a feeling with that conceded per game with our new goalkeeper in place maybe just maybe he'll stop some more of those uh, i've already mentioned that i had hopes of bringing it down by maybe a third of a goal that's going to amount to quite a few points if a, uh, a better keeper between the posts can can make that much of a difference. A third of a goal per game is pretty big. Uh, fouls made per game, though, we are right there at the bottom. We, we're, <laughs> I think we're last. 21 fouls a game is really, really bad. And as we've already noticed in re many, many results, but especially those recent results, a lot of those penalties, uh, or sorry, a lot of those goals we are giving up via penalty. So penalty is really costly. Fouls, really costly. And it's not that we necessarily have some overly aggressive style. I'm not telling the guys to overly commit 
it's just that individual quality that is lacking. We're, we're seeing so many of those coming on, like, say, corner kicks, where somebody just holds on to someone, and then they're standing on the penalty spot a moment later. For the first time in the entire season, uh, we find ourselves with not one, but two players making the league team of the week. We were supposed to play Banbury weeks ago, uh, but thanks to the FA Cup fourth qualifying round, it was postponed. This is that game. So this was that extra game in hand that we had. Uh, nearly half the league is playing today. So roughly half the league had already been knocked out uh, at that stage and, and didn't have to play on that day. But here we are now getting that makeup game. This is against one of the bottom sides, but we are on the road. Now the good news is we actually have more crowd support than they do, but I don't think the game properly takes that into account. They just take into account that we are on the road. So being that we are on the road, yeah, we'll see how that one goes. Uh, three new faces in the side since we last played a match live, which like I said, it's been three matches since then already. Uh, one of those guys today is his first match. Oh, big mistake there. Ooh, lucky that was blasted over the top as, as uh, Clayton couldn't quite reach to put a stop to that one. Sears at center back is one of the new faces we have, and I've, I've felt really happy about actually getting him signed because he, uh, he was one of those players that teams in our division were actually looking at and had given an offer to. So for him to sign with us for nothing when everybody else was offering cash was huge. <laughs> Is absolutely huge so getting that one is fantastic uh, oh god great pass there great pass uh, so close shoot andrews picked up a knock here halftime we'll have to see how he's doing it's almost halftime now we'll find out in a moment uh andrew we had already signed but he's actually getting a start uh so playing at that left wing he's actually one of the best players but brown sterling Brand new striker coming in, and he is a full-on striker. So he is playing his known role, not playing out of positions. Uh, and then Graham. Sonny Graham is a very solid uh, defensive mid who actually can contribute to the offense, which is something we've lacked. All the defensive mids we've had so far have been semi-capable anchors for the defense. None of them have been good ball progressors uh, Lacey is almost a decent ball progressor but he's very much a ball winning midfielder but now yeah Graham comes in as somebody who's still got capable defensive skills to help recover the ball but actually will help progressing the ball a bit more uh, Wilson is struggling so far we might want to get him out of here uh, he's tired and on a yellow so Yates is a great option to bring in and second half underway. Gamble, nice through ball for Eastman, but Eastman cannot get there first. Right now, things are level. Six shots aside. Chances are about even in this one. Ebanks is going to take this corner. Could be a big opportunity for us, but we have not done terribly well on corners. But Andrew, Andrew finds a nice ball out there on the outside, but that curled shot uh, had plenty of bend on it, but it started a little bit too far out, a little too high. Yates goes close twice. First one blocked. He gets a second chance, and I think that one got blocked as well. Maybe the keeper saving that one, but I think it might have been blocked a second time. Eastman, we get that off, but Brown Sterling does not time his run well enough, and Brown gets on the end of that one. Yates wins that header. Graham sends it a bit too long. Again, Yates, nice recovery header. Graham, great pass. Akinwe. Fairly new man. Second time we've seen him. Great set off for Lacey, and Lacey entering the box late. Gets blocked, gets cleared, and Gates recovers the ball for us with the interception. Oh, Graham, poor giveaway on that one, but Sears is going to get to that first. Sears was a big signing because you know, our defense has been hurting so bad. Oh, Andrew. 
had Brown Sterling for a through ball to about the penalty spot. That would have been a great chance. That cross gets blocked. Lacey Brown Sterling offside. Offside. No goal. Clearly offside. No doubt about it. You can see, yeah, he's well off here. But it's been all us in the second half. They haven't even had an attempt here in the last 20 minutes. We've had five. But Sears misses out on that one. But great uh, aggressive tackle to win that ball back. Perfectly timed and placed. Clayton picks that one up. It's nice having uh, somebody strung behind the sticks here, even though he hasn't had much to do today. And that is a great sign for us that somebody hasn't had much to do. Lacey switching play. Kinway sitting on that one, but Andrew moves into space, but cannot get that one to Brown Sterling. It looked like they had been offside on the initial, but uh, without a flag being raised, Clayton has to step up to make a save, and does. It would be nice if he could have hung on to it, but at least he makes the save. No time wasting. Everything stays the same. We've been in control. George intercepts. Starts the counter. Switches play. Gamble finds Eastman inside. Eastman gets a good look at goal. Doesn't do much with it. 86th minute. Sears. Nice header away. Bale switching to George. George switching over to Gamble. Gamble finds Ebanks. Ebanks works towards the corner. Early cross. Brown Sterling keeps it in. Oh, great pullback. Sets up Graham inside. Graham blasts it high, gets underneath it. And into stoppage time. No subs left, so nothing else I can do here as we have now 30 seconds left. Kenway, long ball. Recovered, we get there. George. Can't get the secondary one. Sears clears. Ebanks cannot win that, though. George recovers. Eastman, great turn, finds the space. Oh, decent attempt to get that ball in there. Goes for the low cross. Beats the first man, not the second. But we do come away with a point. We do come away with a game where we actually controlled the narrative and we were on the road. Now the AI manager seems to be eking out results more often. And that kind of makes sense as his ratings are certainly better than mine. But for once, we are seeing a strong performance. 92 on the corners. Fouls were, well, still problematic for us, but better almost equivalent and we just about out outshot them two to one probably should have gotten a goal had one in the back of the net but it was definitely offside and that's decent that is decent for us following that result we are level with benbury we are both on 16 points with 16 matches played and now you could see all but a couple of teams are right at 16 played one point per match is where we sit right now, but like I've said before, I think that's a good place to be at this point in the season as our roster gets better and better given time. I've made it all the way till the month of December, so November was a busy month. We've done a lot. The finances were stable this month with mostly road games, so I think we only had two home games, maybe three. And we played a lot of matches this month, so it was a difficult one on the schedule. But what were the results like? Uh, we opened with that nil-nil draw. That was the last match we just finished with moments ago. Uh, and then lost 4 nothing to Chester. So we had one bad result on the road. Early penalty. Penalties. Always penalties. Three second-half goals. Losing 2-1 at home to Peterborough Sports, who are one of the best teams in the league constellation goal right at the end and we were down very very early so we were never really in that game uh, alfreton that's where we finally got things going with a 1-1 draw we controlled from early but just couldn't see the game out even though they had a guy sent off but that was in stoppage time uh, and then we finally do pick up a win with a 2-1 win at home to boston united another penalty otherwise it would have been comfortable And then the FA Trophy, where we were matched against Peterborough. So uh, same good team. We got the early go-ahead, but they equalized, and then we just held on. In the replay just yesterday, uh, we 
came close, but lost three to two. So again, everything points to the team being more competitive each and every month as we go along. Now results didn't favor us very well, but we didn't play home. We didn't play home very much. I mean, it, we had two league home matches, uh, three on the road, and then one and one in the in the trophy here. And outside of one match, we played well. And that's, for me, that's the big key because over the last two months, we've only had two matches uh, where we played pretty poorly. In terms of the squad, that whole snowball up has slowed down a little bit. We added Calvin Andrew uh, this month, very capable player of playing a lot of different positions. Overall, pretty balanced, a little slow at 35 now. Uh, we added Ash Kigbo, just a slight upgrade in the defense, but something. Uh, and that's been it over the last four weeks. Uh, things have dried up a little bit for the time being as we're not consistently finding better and better and better players. But the last you know six guys we've signed are all in the top eight players on the roster right now. So we have still kind of progressed we just aren't finding them quite as quick as before uh, i also thinned the roster out a bit more uh, luke reese will be leaving us soon on a free i've lost a couple players on a free who had promises of x amount of playing time and were getting it at the start of the year but aren't now but at five points from five matches on a mostly road schedule for the month we're looking okay. We're now 22nd. Southport and Boston United are falling off a little bit in the relegation zone. But it's not just two teams we need to beat. It's four. But unlike before, we are finding ourselves a little closer to safety. Uh, closer than we've been in a while, anyway. We are one win, excluding the goal differential. But we are one win from 16th place. I am still liking our chances of getting better and better and inching our way to survival and for the moment we are inching our way at least ahead of a couple clubs uh, we're, we're just not done with that process yet but we are looking a little better than before now that one bad match did hurt the goal differential a little bit uh, but you know consider we were minus 13 Five matches in we've played 15 matches since then and RJ so much better <laughs> so much better three times as many matches and half as many goals given up on that goal differential is a tremendous sign of we're there competitively we are there uh, just can we eke out enough results the the rest of the way we are nearly halfway done with this season uh, with 20 played 23 would be the halfway point uh, we are going to quickly exceed that and get well in. The second half is going to go much faster than these early episodes have been as we are stabilizing. And then we'll kind of just get brief updates on squad rotation as we bring in new faces. Uh, and like we're doing now with kind of updates on chunks of games, uh, we won't be playing as many live in the second half of the season as we did in the first half. Uh, and hopefully... We can get enough points to secure safety for the season. Otherwise, the series is, is done. I mean, we have to survive uh, to play another year in the Vanna Rama National League North uh, because relegation is possible from here. Four teams go down, but playing in the tier below is not possible without a mod. And I don't know if I can add a mod mid-series database-wise, I think we are stuck with what we have. Therefore, this is it. Survival is a must. But we're only two points from safety right now, so that's, that's a good sign. Well, three points, really. That's going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.